Hi everyone. When it comes to understanding how a World War II battleship operates, there is no better example than the USS Missouri, BB-63. This legendary vessel, the last battleship ever commissioned by the United States, played a crucial role in some of the most significant moments of the 20th century. The USS Missouri is not just a warship, it is a symbol of American naval power and engineering excellence. It saw action in the final battles of World War II, participated in the Korean War, and even served in the Persian Gulf before its retirement. Most famously, it was aboard this very ship that Japan signed the formal surrender documents on September 2, 1945, marking the end of the war. But beyond its historical significance, the USS Missouri is a masterpiece of naval engineering. From its massive 16-inch guns to its powerful steam turbines and intricate fire control systems, every part of this battleship was designed for precision, endurance, and overwhelming firepower. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into how this battleship functioned, from its propulsion systems to its weaponry, command structure, and life on board. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of what made the USS Missouri a dominant force on the seas. At first glance, a battleship like the USS Missouri may seem like just a massive war machine, built for raw firepower and defense. However, beneath its armored hull lies an incredibly complex system of engineering, logistics, and strategy. Understanding how a battleship works isn't just about learning how its guns fire or how it moves through the water, it's about uncovering the intricate coordination of technology and human effort that kept it operational in the heat of battle. During World War II, battleships were the backbone of naval warfare, serving as floating fortresses that could strike targets miles away while withstanding intense enemy fire. To function effectively, the USS Missouri required thousands of crew members working in perfect synchronization, engineers maintaining steam turbines, gunners operating massive 16-inch cannons, radar operators tracking enemy movements, and officers making split-second tactical decisions. By exploring how the USS Missouri worked, we gain insight not only into the ship itself but also into the evolution of naval warfare, the advancements in military technology, and the daily challenges faced by the sailors who lived and fought aboard. Whether you're a history enthusiast, an engineering fan, or simply curious about how one of history's greatest battleships operated, understanding the inner workings of the USS Missouri provides a deeper appreciation for the incredible ingenuity and effort behind these war machines. The USS Missouri, BB-63, an Iowa-class battleship, was a pinnacle of World War II naval engineering, combining speed, firepower, and heavy armor. The Missouri stretches 887.2 feet in length, making it one of the largest battleships ever constructed. To put this into perspective, if you were to lay the Eiffel Tower on its side, the ship would nearly match its length. Fully loaded, the battleship displaces an incredible 58,000 tons of water. That's the equivalent of about six Eiffel Towers in weight, highlighting the sheer mass of this floating fortress. Despite its massive size, the Missouri was built for speed. With its powerful steam turbines, it could reach 33 knots, about 61 kilometers per hour or 38 miles per hour roughly the speed of a subway train racing across the water. This allowed it to keep up with aircraft carriers and outmaneuver enemy threats. A battleship of this scale required a massive crew. At full capacity, USS Missouri carried between 2,700 and 2,900 sailors and officers. 
This is comparable to a completely packed Madison Square Garden during a major basketball event, underscoring the scale of life and operations aboard. The ship's belt armor, which reached up to 12.1 inches thick, is roughly equivalent to the diameter of a standard American football. The belt was reinforced with high-quality steel plating designed to withstand direct hits from enemy shells and torpedoes. Above the waterline, Missouri was also protected by a complex system of bulkheads and armored decks, ensuring critical areas like the engine rooms and ammunition storage remained secure even under fire. This combination of size, speed, and protection made the USS Missouri one of the most formidable battleships ever deployed, capable of holding its own in both offensive and defensive roles. The hull of USS Missouri is a masterpiece of naval engineering. As one of the legendary Iowa-class battleships, Missouri's hull was crafted to balance high-speed performance with heavy armor protection. Missouri's hull was not just built, it was engineered. Naval architects had to fine-tune its shape to achieve a remarkable top speed of over 33 knots, a speed that was unprecedented for a heavily armored battleship. This was achieved through a combination of a long and narrow hull form, reducing hydrodynamic resistance. A bulbous spoke, minimizing wave resistance and improving efficiency. An optimized stern design, which helped maintain stability at high speeds. The hull's length to beam ratio was significantly higher than earlier battleships, making it sleek and fast, yet requiring precise maneuvering at low speeds. At the foundation of Missouri's hull was a reinforced keel, running along the center line. This provided the structural backbone, distributing weight and handling the immense stresses during high-speed operations and combat. Beneath the waterline, four massive propellers were housed in dedicated shaft tunnels, minimizing drag while protecting the drive system. These tunnels also helped direct water flow more efficiently, contributing to the ship's agility. The inner propellers were placed closer together, while the outer shafts were set at a slight angle, improving turning efficiency, a vital feature in tight maneuvers. Why this hull design? The Iowa-class battleships, including Missouri, were designed for a very specific role, to escort and keep up with fast carrier strike groups, something previous battleships couldn't do. To achieve this, their hulls were engineered for battleship-level firepower while maintaining their cruiser speeds. This design allowed Missouri to outmaneuver and outrun older battleships, giving her a tactical edge in engagements. At the same time, her advanced compartmentalization and reinforced structure ensured she could withstand torpedo strikes and keep fighting even under heavy damage. This was a departure from traditional battleship designs. The hull was lightweight relative to its size, thanks to high-strength steel plating, allowing it to carry thicker armor without excessive weight gain. Despite its speed, Missouri had an exceptionally smooth ride, as its fine hull form reduced bow waves and pitching, making it an excellent platform for gunnery. The propeller tunnels also served as natural torpedo defense zones, since their structure absorbed some of the blast energy before it reached vital systems. Due to its sleek design, Missouri had one of the largest turning circles among battleships, meaning tactical planning was crucial in battle. The hull lines of USS Missouri were a perfect blend of power and precision, ensuring that even in the heat of battle, this battleship could maneuver, strike, and withstand enemy fire while maintaining speed superiority. Throughout this first part of our deep dive into the USS Missouri, we've explored why understanding battleship design is essential, examined the ship's general characteristics, and taken a closer look at its hull lines and profile. Thank you for watching and joining us on this journey through naval engineering and history. But we're just getting started. 
In the next part, we'll delve into the battleship's powerhouse, its propulsion and power systems. We'll also explore its main and secondary armament, as well as its air defense capabilities, revealing how the USS Missouri could engage enemies across multiple combat scenarios. Stay tuned, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode.